<laughs> to be fair, you have how many? Well, you've you at least one world record that's very famous that I remember, which is picking up the uh, Thomas Inch. Yeah, and something ridiculous 60, like yeah. sixty-six times. Uh, sixty-five times on my sixty-fifth birthday. One of the toughest strongmen in history, right here. How's it going, man? <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. I can't complain. No, I know. You look at, you're looking great. He looks a million dollars, doesn't he? Yeah. He looks a million Bulgarian dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how much is that worth? <laughs> That'd be the dick. It'd, yeah, it'd be like a million pesos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds good, but it ain't worth a much. A million lira. How much? Oh, there you go. That's defunct. <laughs> yeah. So it could, could be pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we, are we going to we introduce yeah, the fact absolute, that we, we fired Sadler? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it started. Basically, the one rule about the Giants Live Strongman podcast, we don't do formal introductions. However, today's a little bit different because we have Bryce here as ever, we have myself as ever. In Sadler's place, making a return is none other than Nick Best, but our special guest for today. Now, when you say legend, we are talking about a living Strongman legend, Ode Haugen. Welcome to the podcast, sir. How are you? I'm feeling pretty good. It's great to have you here. Now, Nick, can you tell the story as you owe this man an awful lot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to cry now. Jeez. <laughs> I didn't expect you guys to hit me with this so Ca fast. Campfire no, it's, stories it's, come it's, it's, on, brother. Okay. It's really awesome. Deep breath. Okay. Without Ode, I don't meet my wife. Without Ode, I'd never make it to World's Strongest Man. Wow. Either one of them. So two of the best things I've managed to get to have in my life I all owe to Ode and the Fit Expo and the contest that he put on. So, thank you. That's good. I, I met that's Callie at the Fit Expo yeah, in 2008. Right. Um, the first time, and that's where, you know, I ended up, uh, ended up meeting her and just, yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. And then, same with World's Strongest Man, it was because of you and getting in with you in the Super Series and then going to Romania yeah. and all the other stuff, I got recognized by Colin. And you're talking not just about professional satisfaction, but yeah. personal happiness. Person, personal happiness. I mean, the best things in my life are Dylan, Jess, and Callie. And I, without, without Ode, I don't have Callie or Jess. It's absolutely amazing. And Ode, we talk about Mark Felix a lot. We talk about the fact he competes at a high level in strongman at a very high age. The only person who can better him is yourself. You still have the record for the oldest man ever to compete at a World's Strongest Man. Well, I have the record, but I, d I don't think I could better uh, Mark Felix. Mark Felix is an incredible. He is just one unbelievable human being and uh, human specimen. But what is it about... Uh, sorry, Bryce. You know, I, I, I just have to say, uh, Odd is also one of the most humble men I've ever met. And mm. Odd... Let, let me just start with... Imagine winning Mr. Norway... Imagine winning Mr. Norway at 19? 19. 20. 20, 20, 20 yeah. years old. What year was it? Oh, wow. 1970. Wow. 1970. Wow. <laughs> I, I was two. Okay. So, so <laughs> now, wait a second. You're now a Norwegian boy. You've gone and won Mr. Norway. You moved to America. And then you just, you lift and weights. You're a big, big, strong man. And then imagine playing American football, as we would call it over in Europe. And then, hey, you're kind of good at it, and you play for, what's the, what's the local team you played for? Uh, I played for the 49ers. For a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the San Francisco 49ers. How yeah. insane is that? And then, in, let's say, 20 years after that, you kind of, you know, you're off doing quite high-level business and CEO of how many companies? Did, I asked you earlier, but I don't ask you. I have no idea. How many yeah. companies did you work for? Or, I, or I, well, I, I, I really never worked for one more than one company, but I... Uh, I have started a lot of companies and worked for my own business. I've yeah. been an entrepreneur all my life, pretty much. Yeah. Since uh, since grad school, I started a business while I was in grad school, so I never went to apply for a job. I actually can say that I never, ever applied for a job. Have you ever written a CV? I do have one. <laughs> <laughs> if you need them. <laughs> yeah, if you need me. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> wow. but, but then, and then, and then, I believe... You won America's Strongest Man, even? 
Is that yeah. correct? Yes, in, in 1999. 99, and then... <laughs> wow. I mean, that's just like 20... Was 20, that like 49? That was 49, yeah. Wow! So, so 1999, so 1970, we're, we're talking a long time, right? And then just a few years later, it was I think it was 2006, if my memory serves me right, you go to World's Strongest Man. That was the last time I went to... The, I mean, the last time! 2001, 2003... Slap me. Yeah. Sorry. I'm so sorry, yeah. Odd. I'm so sorry. And then, but the, probably the highlight of his career was he went into business with Colin Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did that end up? Well, not so well. Just like this weekend. <laughs> what is week? Oh. You can't give me, you're supposed to give me credentials. I'm, I'm still sitting in the, the cheap seats. I'm sitting sorry in the cheap seats down. all day. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry I let you down, man. <laughs> I've got to uh, ask you, Ode, what is it about yourself that's made you so durable, that's made you last so long and do it for so long? Uh, I think consistency maybe is very most important. It's therefore, certainly about strength and training, consistency is probably the most important thing. Because you I, still compete in grip, yeah, grip yeah, competitions. Yeah, I, I still compete in mm -hmm. arm lifting, what we call arm lifting. Not just grip competition, but you have to lift, actually lift the weight yes. proper. And um, yeah, I still do that. And I think that's a very good way for many of us to continue striving uh, even after we require, uh, retire from like st powerlifting or strongman or stuff like that because you can still your hands don't get much weaker you know, Is that what, right? you know the primarily thing you strength you don't lose so much strength when you get older what you lose is speed you mm -hmm. lose agility yeah mobility and mobility i mean all those stuff but you don't lose the strength. I mean, uh, I, but right. I think bravery my, occasionally. Yeah, <laughs> bravery. Yeah, yeah too. Right? Yeah, yeah. The, one of the things, the good part about as you get older, you are getting a little. You know, when I competed in World Strongest Man and stuff like that, I was pretty old. I was in my fifties, obviously, and I continue competing way beyond that. I competed in Masters Worlds with uh, in the in the you know in Belfast with yeah. uh, Glenn Ross's uh, organization. Uh, all the way to 66, right before I had my la first uh, hip replacement, and um, and I think that basically you can, if you stay consistent, you can do it. But also, you are more cautious as you get older. It's sort of like you, if self-preservation, you become a little more cautious. You don't do crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because even what I have to say, I'm, I was lucky enough to meet you yesterday for the first time. As soon as I shook your hand. <laughs> I immediately thought there's a big mess on him, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's but nothing compared to Ma uh, Felix's. <laughs> Felix they it make me, me look small. But yeah, you know, they're much, much more bigger than mine. Do you know yeah. the difference though? Is that so? Felix undoubtedly has length in his yeah, hands, right. but you've also got it's, yeah. Yeah. Right. it's, it's like grabbing <laughs> stones. Yeah. It's like shaking hands with stone hands. It's yeah, yeah. I mean, I would, I would hate. I'm not sure if you had. Um, any daughters, but I would hate I to do. be there. <laughs> right. I do, I do too. <laughs> too. What are you like uh, when you met their boyfriends? Uh, I haven't met any boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't dare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, you, do you still like competing? Mm. Very much so. I just competed this, Sunday, this past Sunday. Actually. Yeah. And what do you love about it? Because people talk about getting nerves, anxiety. No, I, I really enjoy competing. And that's the way, you know, we keep you motivated to train. Yeah, for and, a lot. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I have goals. I, I do. But the interesting thing is that in certain lifts, I'm better now than I ever was. Yeah. Such as? Uh, in the, uh, we have a lift called the Sax, uh, Saxon from from the Saxon brothers. Yeah, they the had Saxon the, brothers, yeah. Yeah, they had the, the, is the square, you know, the square bar. Yes. So it's a three three inch by four inch bar that we use to lift. We do deadlifts on it. And okay. well, what, what do you do? What do you do on that? Any, out of interest? I did. Uh, uh, well, this last week, and I um, I did 115 kilo, but tried for 122 and a half, which was would be uh, would have been my all time best. What did the Saxon oh. brothers do on it? Or claim I, to do? I it? don't. I don't think they. Uh, did it's, it's one of those pieces of history where they actually. Yeah, okay. I don't know if they did deadlift on it, but I, I don't really know what they did on it. But, mm -hmm. but um, uh, the uh, it's 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 a great lift because you there's no you can't do any kind of like halfway half ass about it. It's 100 percent 
So, like when you do a heavy lift on it, it's just like doing a heavy lift on a deadlift with a with a regular bar, except for you lifting a lot less weight, so you lot less stress on your body. Yes. But you still have the same effect, I think, in terms of hormonal uh, effects and and just feeling that the entire body is attached. I have had more blackouts on doing uh, no. oh, uh, really? yeah, wow. you get a top and you you pushing so hard that you you black out. If you had any advice for starting just to improve your grip, so starting, somebody who goes, I think most people watching this or listening goes to the gym, maybe they try and push themselves, but I don't think many people do much in the way of actual grip work. What should we start as as a... Well, it's fairly simple because you don't really, first of all, get rid of the straps when it comes to doing anything in in the gym. Yeah, I mean, the only time you should have straps would be if you're doing repetition deadlifts at a very, very high level in a competition. Otherwise, you should be trying to use it, use uh, you know, just your hands. So in all the event, everything you do, you use just your hands and you get stronger. But uh, basically, to just enhance your grip, you would do holds and, and, and hangs, I think is the best. Hangs are probably all the, the very, very best. Because uh, you are stretching your body, you get uh, you're stretching your spine rather than contracting your spine. Mm-hmm. When you hold, you push contracting. You are putting pressure on your spine, but when you're hanging, you you take pressure off of your spine. Well, what, so, what was the longest hold you've ever done? Uh, Did you ever do it for time? Yeah, we always do it for time, but it depends on what the handles are and stuff like that. Because we, uh, I do it with rolling handles and stuff like that, very difficult ones. Who, who's, who's got the greatest grip in the world? You've, oh, you've ever seen? good question. Uh, th- Besides you, because no, to no, be fair, hmm. to be fair, you have how many? Well, you've you at least one world record that's very famous that I remember, which is picking up the uh, Thomas Inch. Yeah, and something ridiculous 60, like yeah. sixty-six times. S- uh, Sixty-five times on my sixty-fifth birthday. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that but insane? Wow. But I, I, did, I, at the Arnold's, I did it for 63 times a year. At the 60, that was but it wasn't that, forget, forget your age. How yeah. many times had anyone picked it up before that? Like, that? like 37, I think. <laughs> but, uh, cool, but uh, yeah. you know, it's just an endurance uh, thing, and uh, you really had to train for it when I did it. But uh, you, you, you were hurt. But I think when I got to 60, you were in pain. Yeah, man. Was, you were really in pain. Hurt. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry. How, how long did it take your, your grip and your forearms to heal after that? Oh, I, I don't think probably in just a few days. I don't think that. But I, wow. when I did it at the Arnold, no, at the Arnold's, I, I think I had like the flu or something when I did it. Because I, I got so yeah, sick yeah. afterwards, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 flew, could, I yeah. flew the same time. I had a throat and everything. Question, okay, so who's got the greatest grip and what's the most impressive grip strength you've, trick you've ever seen? I think of the competitors today, it's uh, Karl Myerskov. Oh, the Blackpool yes, shopper. Yeah, he was You're called the Blackpool me. Tower, six yeah. foot ten. He was incredible. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I just competed with him this weekend. I got Did you? second Get overall to him. You're I got joking. second overall to him in uh, at the FedEx. But he is of course a different weight class than me. He's a hundred pounds heavier than me, but uh, but he's he a, is an amazing giant, grip. Yeah. Yeah. And he's training for this, and he's going to break all the records, I think. So Carl Meister is the heaviest but, ever British Olympian. How about that for a fact? Are you kidding me? D- wow. fact, yeah, true story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's an amazing athlete. Okay. And now he's focusing on arm lifting. So he's do, approaching it just like shot put, where, you know, shot put is a very technical event. So he's doing the same thing with this. He's training specifically for it. And uh, I, I heard a great stat about Carl Marsko. And I, I don't know if it's true or not, but he lost over an inch a day. Not every day, obviously. He would gain it back overnight. He was oh, that's, that's normal for guys who are really tall. He's like six, six ten. ten. Six ten, ten yeah. yeah. And he's a big dude at six ten. He's not like yeah, a weedy six, six ten. He's no, like six, a ten, three, giant. Six, ten. Bear three, six, five. So that's why and they, he would um, lose over an inch, and then he would gain it again overnight. So that's so we all have our compression of our of our spines. Yeah. I know. Don't ruin my story, man. But <laughs> 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 so I, I have hope of gaining some of my height back. <laughs> yeah, because exactly. I lost like an inch and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you and still. It you come, and it didn't come back, right? No, <laughs> you, you were once listed at six three. Yeah, I was six three and, and a half. Now I reckon I'm half an inch taller, and I'm only six two. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what yeah. was the most impressive grip no, feat you've seen? Uh, yeah, so probably uh, there's a couple of ones I want to mention God. because I want to mention Mike Burke because I think he probably has yeah. one of the wow. strongest grips ever. Monster. So uh, Michael, Mike Burke, uh, 
Do you have to say what you saw? What, what did you witness? What did you witness when you, that you well, made he, you think this? There's, I have a dumbbell in my, uh, that I made specifically for me. You know, it's like the inch dumbbell, except for the you know, same size handle, but it's straight 16 inch long handle instead of being, a, you know, like a, it was a machine type thing. So I have a dumbbells from 100, 120 to 160 pounds in pairs, and then I have a 250 uh, yep. pound one. Yep. And, um, they're used it in competition because you know you use two hands to get it up. You can push it overhead. Mm -hmm. and, uh, a few people have done that, but he, he picked it up off the floor and got it up like halfway up his leg. And I know Brian has tried it. I, I have tried it. I've never even gotten air on it. How how are you for things? If you take rock climbing, when you are only able to use maybe the the very ends of your digits, how are you at sort of things like that? Uh, I, I well, I'm not doing any rock climbing. Yes. I'm probably way too hot, <laughs> way too way too heavy, and way too old. But but um, yeah, my finger strength is good uh, because like if I did the, if I did a conventional deadlift, it would be just my fingertips. I wouldn't I wouldn't even grab it. I would just with a regular bar. Yeah. I would double over and just hooking in my fingertips to it. Really? And I can yeah, I could never Jeff I could I could never deadlift as much as I could lift uh, hold on to. How interesting. Wow. Because I have you ever heard of the show called Ninja Warrior? Oh yeah. So I Big was fan. A, yeah, I, I was. He was on it, man. He was on Gladiators. He's, been, he's done a lot. This guy, yeah. Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, that's <laughs> <I did. laughs> it. Done a lot. It wasn't a lot to see. But Ninja Warrior. <laughs> the thing I loved most about it was training different types of grip. Yeah. So things like training on ta holding onto tassels yeah. is very different to even a thick rope, for example. Right, right. And I just noticed that. If I would try and do 15 minutes of solid training, my forearms were wasted. Yeah. So I had to learn to do maybe minute on, minute off. And e the way I could contract my forearms changed. So yeah. I was just really interested to know how you kind of interact with your, your muscle memory you've got with your forearms versus, say, a normal bloke. Because I think most people go squeeze, whereas I imagine you're very delicate with how you understand it. Well, I'm not so sure if there's anything delicate about my, me and my hands, but <laughs> 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 but uh, anyway, I, uh, I'm strongest on things like, a, you know, like a thick bar grip and stuff like that. And, and like this now just a squeeze on the six and bar grip. And the funny thing is that I'm very right hand do dominant and much stronger on my right than the left, really? but I'm not, I'm not like, uh, I'm better on two arm lifts than I am on one arm lifts. Okay. Relative. No, okay, listen, listen. I, I, I've got, I was just going to cut in here because it just suddenly came to me in a flash. You've got a strong right arm. No, no, I, we are <laughs> furious for my arm. I have got another. Oh, do you once told me about a great story. And I was thinking about this the other day when I was taking through like loads of stuff on a hand luggage, you know? And I probably had about, I don't know, I was sneaking through like 25 pounds of hand luggage, you know, it's, it's way over the limit. Do you know a man who's taken more than 25 pounds of hand luggage before and got caught and stopped? Yeah. <laughs> Tell the story, <laughs> man. When, when, I, uh, when I first got my first inch dumbbell, it was from, uh, from uh, Arnold's. Uh, what way the first it? year, The first year they had, uh, had 70... Arnold, 172, 172 mm -hmm. pounds. <laughs> <laughs> wait for this, wait for this. And I, and I tried to take that in and uh, they said, no, you can't take it in, you can't carry it on, you can't do anything with it. We can't even put it in the no, luggage. No, man, you, you haven't even you missed the best part of the story, man. If you, you've got your own story. Let me tell you, let me steal uh, your story. All right. You, you, <laughs> said, you said, Brycey, the worst bit about it was walking up to the, you know you know how you put it on like a conveyor belt and, and then walk through the metal bit? You went, trying to pretend because you didn't have two to hold on to. It's a hell of a heavy weight just to walk like, hi, <laughs> this is a normal weight. Wait. And he put it inside a bowling bag, right? And he walked up and then he, he said the classic moment when he was caught was when he went, and put it onto the, it's like 75 kilo thing, and he put it onto the conveyor belt and it just went, and it, went, and it wouldn't go through. It's true or not? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. They were like, what is this, sir, inside this burning bag? And then the guy was like, what, what is this? It's a giant Thomas Hitch dumbbell. It's a Thomas Hitch dumbbell. Get out of here. <laughs> true? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's kind of, sort, sort of true. Yeah. No, no, I, 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 I messed it up. Anyway, no, my you head. didn't miss it up. But, uh, okay. Were you able uh, to get it home? I, yeah, you had to pay a, a lot of money. Story. You had to pay a, a lot funny, of money. That's a lot of money I got it by home. <laughs> funny thing is that they said, uh, so how the hell do I ship this thing? You had to go to a freight forwarder or something like that. And there's really? a lot of them on the airport. But this was Sunday morning in Columbus. 
Uh, yeah. You know, like six o'clock in the morning, yeah. right? Everybody's uh, catch a flight. So we, I did get a taxi cab, and I put it in the back of the uh, the trunk of the t t of the taxi. It was a very deep trunk, so I mean, it really was an effort even to get it in or out. All that. Oh my God! I put it in the trunk, and she drove me to FedEx and to all the different ones. All of them were close to course. So I said, "What do we do?" She says, I said, "Can you keep it in your trunk till I get somebody to pick it up?" Uh, she said, "Yeah, no problem. I don't think anybody's going to steal it because nobody's going to be able to <laughs> pull it out of there." <laughs> so uh, I said, "I have some strong guys here in uh, Columbus. I can call, and they they'll go and pick it up, and they'll uh, put it on the freight for me." And that's what ended up happening. They got it and put it on the truck freight over. And if I imagine it, did, did, did you try and get it into hand? hand I try, like yeah, well, I tried to. Yes. <laughs> you did, and and did you try and walk so that they couldn't see? That it weighs I 77 tried. I think, kilos. I think, I, I, I think I tried, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, man. I love that. So you're walking with 172 pounds and in one and hand, nothing trying to act like it doesn't like weigh, it weigh anything. Yeah. <laughs> 75 kilos. That's me. 78, 78 kilos. Yeah. 78 kilos. And then you stuck it on the conveyor belt. Oh my god! <laughs> Could you imagine the look if they would have got that on on the guy who had to put that on the conveyor <laughs> yeah. on the airport? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, there's no way we're taking this anything. The only way you're going to ship this is you got to cut it up. Oh, the wow. Pieces. I said, well, yeah. the whole idea of how this is that it's uh, in one piece, you know. Could but I, uh, mm. the other thing I was, you're asking about the uh, biggest uh, lift is that um, right now, like uh, just this past weekend, for example, like uh, Marjkov. He yeah. did 135 kilo on the on the Saxon bar. Yeah, yeah. And, and that uh, was nobody, yeah, that's like way above what, what anybody would Shaw do on that. What would Shaw? I do? don't know. I, I've seen him do it, but uh, uh, Martins briefly one year, one year in the competition we end up, and in the gym Martins and I are like equal, like, like when they came to this thing, and we were training for it and stuff like that, and we were getting up to. You know, 110, 115 kilos, stuff like that, in the in training. Then in the competition, this is the year that uh, that uh, Larry Wheel was uh, in the, my mm -hmm. competition too. And uh, he competed also. I don't know what he ended up with, but he, he was very impressive when it came to grip. Very uh, yeah. did a, I think he did 200 kilos on the axle, and he did at least over 100 kilo on the Saxon bar too. But uh, I got to 150, we got to 115 years, you know, the last man standing type of thing. And Martins called for like 120 kilo. I wanted 117 and a half, which I missed at that time. So this is a few years ago. I can do better now. <laughs> <laughs> at my young age, I'm getting younger. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Martin, they misloaded the, the bar to 125. And <sighs> somehow, of course, Martins got it. It wasn't, a, it wasn't yeah. a pretty. It wasn't a pretty difficult. So he had like for a, a moment he had a, the world record. That was the highest ever on that uh, bar. Wow. Now Myers got to 135. Wow, that's it, a big improvement. You yeah. mentioned Martins a few times. He's a guy who credits you with so so much. Oh yeah. J could you kind of just talk through just how impressive that man is? Because we've seen a few Martins. We saw the Martins who just arrived at Worlds, who had this kind of the, the braids. Then we saw the Martins who won in 2019. And then we've seen this guy who stepped away, has come back, and he looks monstrous now. Yeah, well, Martins prepare for these things. He, he's not uh, trying to impress anybody on the internet. He's trying to win the contest. So he's preparing for this contest. When he come here, he's going he's gonna to show his very best when he's here. And you saw today, he's, he could pull it out. And you saw it in uh, Columbus, uh, the Arnolds, and in Austin for the uh, for the rogue. For the rogue, yeah. I but mean, he just pulls it out. He just somehow, and he knows how to win. But he also he knows how much he can do, and he knows how to push it. I knew when uh, I was telling Steve Slater when he was at the Stones at the at the, the Rogue Invitational when he had the Stones and Tom. Nobody, you know, got kind of mm -hmm. everybody got kind of through halfway, but nothing more. And the, the last couple of Stones they couldn't really handle, and then Tom came through and did it. Uh, in a very impressive way, mm. and I told uh, I told uh, Steve because he was uh, I was refereeing and he was uh, the, mm. watch Martins he's going to beat this time by five seconds and he did oh, on the tombstone yeah no on the on those uh, natural stones, stones natural stones or those yeah. uh, dindy st uh, those are you know, not dindy stones but they're like uh, the 
Na- they are okay. not and natural, they're man made, but they are. They're, they're, uh, they're man made Inverse stones. In- Inverse stones, that's, yeah. that's what they are. Inverse stones, yeah. That's what they are. Very impressive. It was very impressive. Does yeah. he have any weaknesses for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, everybody has some weaknesses, but I mean, in the company. He's not going to tell you. He's not going to tell you. <laughs> 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 but uh, he. Um, uh, I think uh, he uh, trains very instinctively when he. Um, he feels something is wrong, he's not going to do it. He just backs off a little bit and stuff like that. So I think he's very instinctive in terms of his training, and that's what uh, serves him well. He, nobody's going to take, you, uh, I'm not going to take any credit for what I trained him. I got him going. I'm probably more of a mentor than a, than a coach because he he's his be- own best coach, I think. I know you're being very he, humble. He's a, a mentor for many of us. Oh, it's I just, you just nodded as soon as he, you were he, saying, mm, he's he, more than that. He's, yeah, it was a lot more than that. Yes, I mean, indeed. Yeah. there's so many things, oh, that you've taught him. So many things you taught me. I mean, look how much I learned on the yoke when I came out to your place. Yeah. You know, especially doing the, the, the old yoke setup that you had. And oh, I mean, he's so humble. He, and, and he the, hates this the, kind of stuff. And, and he, farmers, I love on and, and the farmer's <laughs> walk school. with those big, huge <laughs> cylinders and stuff like that. I mean, and then Ugh. I learned how to pick the IFSA shield, that old IFSA shield, at your house right. with Martins. Yeah. You remember that when yeah. we were picking up, carrying and the driveway? And there was uh, getting, uh, there was a couple of people that got their foot uh, smashed that day, right? Yeah. Foot and hands. I don't remember who. wasn't us. But no. It <laughs> wasn't was somebody, me or yeah. Martins, but. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I ended up carrying that thing, what, 98.6 meters from the yeah, floor? Yeah, yeah. Without, 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 without odd, without odd, See, there, there would be no giant's life. I mean, so many things. Odd told, yeah. me, told me about, uh, you, you guys even gave me, I think it was 3% initially, then 6% of, of Super Series, so thank you. <laughs> and, and, and thank you, and, I, and I, I'll never no. forget it. Now, it was a hell of an experience learning from, from you and Ulf, yeah. and really, so thank you. Hell of a business. Probably well. more, more from Wolf than from me on that. But oh, anyway, stop yeah, it. Yeah. Stop it, would you? Well, Wolf was a great man. So absolutely. Could I ask you about a lift that I seldom see, and I apologize for not knowing the name of it, when Martins, I believe, who still has the world record, where it's sort of a rocking squat that you get with... Steinberg. Uh, Steinberg. Steinberg. Steinborn. 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 Yeah. Born. Milo Steinborn uh, was the one. So they called it a Steinborn lift, yeah. Because that, it's, it's one thing going into a gym and having a strong squat, bracing yourself and going down... But the challenge of that, I mean, you've got to be mobile, flexible, and strong. And daft. Yeah. Man, <laughs> that's insane. I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to tell a couple of stories about this, uh, because uh, the Steinborn lift was the, uh, Martins was not going to be in the, uh, in, the, in the Arnold's. He was not qualified for the Arnold's. But they wanted to be involved. And... Uh, and uh, Terry Todd was on the phone with me, and uh, he says, uh, "What do you think? Do you think uh, Martins could break the record, the world record on the Steinborn uh, lift? How much? Because I knew what the lift was, you mm-hmm. know, and and, uh, and Terry knew what I I, I, w- I would know what what it's I was talking about. Close to seven hundred, right? No, it's like s- f- five sixty. F- okay, mm-hmm. something like five fifty. Which makes right. sense. Yeah, that's yeah. insane amount of yeah. weight. To- and I yeah. said, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. And I said, uh, but the funny thing is that Martins was living in my garage at that time, so he comes in through right behind me. And I said, Martins, think you can uh, <laughs> do a start more lift with, with, uh, with 550 plus weight, and 550 pounds plus to break the record? He said, Yeah, hell yeah, you can do that. So uh, that's uh, that's how that came around. And Martins went right. I mean, I came to the gym. Uh, there was like three or four people doing the Steinborn lift uh, the, uh, in, in the gym. In your garage. Yeah, to, uh, to working, uh, working out on it. Yeah. And uh, the same thing with the, with the tombstone. Mm-hmm. How did it go, got into Arnold's? Uh, he, um, Terry t- was looking for a stone, a challenging thing that they could use to do a shouldering a stone. Mm-hmm. And I said, I think I have the right stone. Hang on, was the tombstone the thing we had in... In, in, in Los Angeles one year? Yeah, I think yeah. we used it on uh, the six stone in, uh, in our... The six stone? That yeah. was no one... 2009, too. Huh? We, Brian and I were the only two to lift it in 2009, too. Yeah. At the Fit Expo in 2009. Yeah, yeah we that, had that, it as a six stone, yeah. It was on Muscle Beach. And in Muscle Beach, mm-hmm. we had it, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
No, sir. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, so. but anyway, so the so he says, uh, you sh sure somebody can do it? And I'm sure, uh, can you have Martins try it? I said, sure, I'll have Martins try it. And he went, uh, you know, uh, he wasn't going to compete, but he, he just, you know, he easily put it on his lap and then he put it on his shoulder. I, so I told uh, Terry, yeah, no, he can do it. And I think, uh, you know, some other guys can do it too. But so it'll be a good competition, but it'll be tough. It's not easy. No. As we, you know. <laughs> and um, that's how that guy got in there. We shipped it out to uh, Ohio. It's still the same. I had no yeah, idea that was stone. the same stone. Yeah. Oh, stone has a, has a fossil. I mean, that's a really old st has a fossil imprint in it. Yeah. For fish mm -hmm. or something like that. The tombstone. And, uh, and, uh, and it has, my, of course, uh, my uh, now ex-wife, but that time my wife, she had uh, imprinted my, put, had my, had put in my name and my birth date in there. Leaving room for my uh, demise. <laughs> 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 but uh, she had, uh, you know, you remember uh, Julia. She uh, she has this yeah, incredible yeah. instinct for all of this stuff. You remember mm. too. Oh, yeah, I she remember probably her put well. some pain on you. If you had, a, you come to complain about a pain uh, when you're in the tra uh, training at my mm. house, yeah, no. you would uh, get the treatment. And she yeah. is the toughest she, uh, you could get. As nails. And, uh, and, um, but she had a really instinctive thing about the, these stones. We have, a lot of the stones we have are the stones that she picked. Okay. And she's a tiny little thing, <laughs> maybe mm -hmm. uh, 120 pounds. Yeah, so she that. wasn't, she wasn't going to be the one lifting that. But she, thought, you can, you guys can lift this. And this is a good thing. Oh, you're the perfect person to ask this. We sometimes have asked some of our guests, who for you is the greatest strongman of all? In fact, oh. who for you is the best strongman you've ever seen? Nice. Oh, it's a very tough, a tough question. But I think the all-time best, I think you had to give a big Z. Is, uh, mm. uh, I, I've seen him as durable as anybody. Starting up, uh, you know, he wasn't like a comet coming on, uh, on, but he was uh, very good right from the beginning. But he has been, I've competed against him many, many times. Slow and steady. Yeah, I slow and steady. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, literally, I, I was competing head-to-head -head him on, on overhead lifting, and I'm a shitty presser. Uh, but I had good technique. Uh, but we were lucky in most of the competition in the Grand Prix, like in 2002, when he ended up in second. And uh, during the preseason, when we were doing the Grand Prix in Europe, we almost was were like even on the, uh, like that. Yeah. And, but the funny thing about uh, Z is that he you get 140 kilo, <laughs> and it looks like it's fucking. That's going to be the last if he ever did. Yeah, he's always and then you go 150, and it's just it's the easier. Same, same <laughs> thing. And then 160, <laughs> and, you know, it's just never, never. It's the same, same they, ugly lift, but he get gets harder. it. Yeah, it, it doesn't look. No, any no, 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 it looks hard from the beginning, yeah. and he doesn't get it looking any harder, and he just keeps going. Yeah, it's just amazing, uh, amazing man. If I was to change the question slightly, but it it is a significant change. Who's the strongest person in history for you? Nice. <laughs> Nick, Nick Best. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, <I> mean, <laughs> trying to sell you in there. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Because you can, you can add power lifters to it if you want. You could add Olympic yeah. lifter to it if you want. You could add, it could be a strong man. Um, oh, man. I think... Bryce, who, who have you gone? That's, that's, what, what we, I, I, that's uh, too much for me to think about right now. I changed my mind. With the I wind, changed man. my mind. With the wind, you know. I, yeah. I put Mark you, you, Henry you, you, in you, there, for example. You, you, nah. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's amazing, Mark Henry. But then you got kind of like, like Lasher. That yeah. guy. But then you go back, you look over time, you see Taranenko. And, you know, yeah. oh, there's so many great guys. And strong men, Bill Kazmaier. You know, yeah, Kazmaier. God, that guy was insane. Kazmaier is unbelievably strong, yeah. No, it's harder, it's harder, harder, harder to say. I don't think. I don't know if Louis you know, Sear in his time, yeah. unbelievable. If you look, if you go back to the really old time, there were some incredibly strong Ang people. Angus McCaskill, all eight foot eight of them, or whatever he was. Somebody's so meant to be. Uh, Who knows? Yeah, he's, he's a big uh, dude, man. He's a foot taller than Brian. Angus McCaskill. Is. Wow. And his hands, I, there's a sh there's a shirt he sells up there, or that his family. family sells up there, and it's his handprint. And literally, I put my hand in it. It's like this. He makes Marks Felix. <laughs> the girl, the girly hands. Tiny. <laughs> really? But he was, I, I think he was seven foot eight, and he was like 534 when he died. You know? 534. Wow. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, wow. it sounds, sounds like one so of the more our, true, true our, feats. Is that, our but, but our you, pilot you, was on him. And, and, I, and I, I'm one of the few people who've seen it. I've really? saw it. Yeah. Okay. okay. And so I remember one of the feats of strength you did on it. Did I never go out that program? 
What's and up? That, that never went out, that program. No, no. Clips of it are in the opening yeah, it was of it. One of my yeah. be- it was one of my favorite shows, actually. Thank you. And, and you carry, I think it's a 350-pound barrel of water mm. up a hill. And he filled this up every three, day. Every, every, three every days. day. And he, and he would carry this thing. Two, it, 200, about 200 meters up the hill big, to his house. It was big, man. Did you guys try to do it? Huh? And this, this was yeah. just his yeah, daily routine. Yeah, did you guys try to do it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was not easy. No. Ob, OB was crying, man. <laughs> the angry hurt his arm. Who's yeah. the strongest human in history? Because you, you've done the whole show. And yeah. I, you know what? That's really hard to say because... You have Paul Anderson who did some ungodly freaky things. You you have Sidrinus Savickas, you have Brian Shaw, you have Marius Pujanowski. But they're all recorded history, it's hard to know, isn't it? Through all recorded yeah. history, knows, it's man. really hard to tell because I, I mean Louis Sear, I mean, pushing a train back then and then doing a five hundred pound one finger lift. Do you, do you know some of the craziest lifts? Is, wow. like, have you ever looked at there's like Baybon of Bybon? Lifted this stone, and it's like it's like five thousand years ago, and it's a five hundred and five kilo stone. Yeah. You're like, huh? It's chiseled in. I'll tell you another one is, is, is some of the stones in Japan. They they are like seven hundred kilos, and, and and they believe the way they lifted it is they got groups of men to lift up and then lower it on and actually. Wire. Actually, it was a log press. Yeah. No, not log press. Oh, leg press. Leg press. Leg press. <laughs> <laughs> and that's press. Ah, that's right. how they did well, it. But the no. bottle, you're going to have to just even attempt to get underneath that. Uh, un- uh, that, that that's, that, that's the thing. They were sumos. And that, that uh, the unbelievable yeah. bottle to have a group of fellas lowering 700 kilo stone on top of you, which is an original tombstone, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't, I, I don't know. There's some mad stuff well, out there. Yeah. Yeah. Like looking. in Norway, there's a stone that... Uh, I know Sven went to yes. uh, check it out. Six hundred kilos, and somebody care is supposed to have carried it. No, okay, so uh, they were, so I, I've researched. I've researched in that. I believe what he did was was a hip lift, maybe with it. But did he actually? Or, or maybe he lifted it one end and tipped it over or something like that. Maybe uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But do, is, don't it, know. is it movement with it? Is that what they claim? Yeah, I'm not one hundred percent sure what the claim is. Knutson or something was his name, wasn't it? Knutson. Yes, uh, I don't know. It was some. Big uh, <laughs> guy in telegr- <laughs> Telemark, uh, Norway. Mm, yeah. Uh, and uh, but there's a lot of stories like that about uh, s- things. There's this one, I think, one bar or something like that uh, that has this big stone sitting on their front lot. This guy got uh, kicked out because he was drinking too much, so he went down to the down to the sea and carried this huge boulder up and put that's it in front funny. of the front of the door so nobody else could get in and out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. just finally, because we're meant to make these 20 minutes. You've been very generous with your time. Do you think you'll ever make a book or document the things that you've seen? Because it just seems to me that these, this 40 minutes, this could be 40 hours. You've got so many stories, so much learning, so much advice. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think so. But uh, I would. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. You got to say yes. Maybe. Folks. Yes. Maybe. We should. Yeah. But let's there petition it lot, now. There's a lot. Petition. of shit. Yeah, There's a lot of stuff. Absolutely. Lot of I have like. Yeah. Well, it's L- been a l- little whiskey and, uh, <laughs> and fireplace. Whiskey and, and fi- it's all beautiful. Kinds of, all kinds of stories come out. Well, it's right. been an absolute honour talking to you. Oh, thank you so much. And Nick yeah. wasn't when he just said, right? If it's owed, I'm staying here for yep. this. And Nick, Absolutely. thank you for your time. Thanks, no. Nick. Colin, thank as you ever. Yes, thank you, Ode. Yes, thank you, Ode. Yay! Thank Thanks, you so man. much. Thank, thank you, guys. So, thank you for everything. Yeah. Yes.